Hi, my name is Mark Secula, and I'd like to take you through a topic that I think is important to most B2B companies, and that is leveraging conferences so that they're effective and efficient for your organization. Before I get into the topic, I'd like to give you an overview of my background. I'm a senior marketing professional who has led marketing efforts at prominent B2B technology companies. I've marketed to life science organizations, including pharma and medical device companies, financial services organizations, public sector, manufacturing, healthcare, consumer packaged goods, and retail. I've been in both field and product marketing positions, as well as worked closely with operations. So I feel like I have a good background in all of these areas to talk about them effectively. I've worked to develop compelling marketing plans and programs, leveraging integrated marketing campaigns and account-based marketing, and also developing compelling content for the marketing activities that I do. Before deciding to attend a conference, you should first get the list of attendees, their names, titles, and companies, or at least their title and company names. This will allow you to understand if the level and type of companies attending are the right ones for your products and services. Once you've decided that this is the right conference for your organization to attend, you should look at the key sponsorships that are available where you have exposure to speak to audiences about your products and services in an indirect way. Possibly looking at speaking with a customer about how they've taken advantage of the technology or something about your product that's helped them in their organization or how you've worked with a partner. Additionally, you can look at panel discussions where you can lead those panels and show yourself off as a thought leader. Another thing you need to do is plan ahead. Look at the companies and the titles within those companies that you want to meet with at the event and see if you can find out who the names of those people are so you can contact them ahead of time to make, get meetings with them. If they're speakers, their information will be posted on the agenda. So it'll be a lot easier to find out more about them and also see how you can connect with them, like I said, at the event or possibly during a breakfast or a lunch or a dinner. Another thing I highly recommend is do your own hosted event at the conference. In order to make this successful, you should pick a venue that's very unique and don't have a presentation. Have it drinks or a dinner and drinks, a very informal type of event where the salespeople and others in your organization can meet the key stakeholders. In order to make this successful, there are a couple things I think you should do. You should get the list of people who are coming to the event, like I mentioned before, the titles and companies, highlight the companies and titles you want to invite, and ask the coordinator of the event to communicate this out to those people. Usually, usually companies will look to do this for a price, but it's well worth it. Additionally, you should print invitations to your hosted event that you can hand out at your booth when you get to the event. Another thing you should consider doing is to have a follow-up event that you can do after the conference where you can have invitations at your booth where you can invite people to attend that event like a webcast or some other live event in a particular area of the country. This will allow you to keep the conversation going, uh, also gives you another reason for contacting the person later after the event about attending that webcast. Thank you for listening to this short presentation. I hope it was helpful. If you need to contact me in the future, please do so through email or my mobile number. I hope you have a good day.